Good morning and welcome to the daily devotion from Stirling Baptist Church, where every day we are turning our focus toward God as members of our church bring us reflections on his goodness. For more information about Stirling Baptist Church, go to stirlingbaptist.org and you're welcome to get in touch with us through our Facebook page or by emailing us at admin at stirlingbaptist.co.uk. Good morning. My name is Heather Westwood and I'm married to Rob, who is an Aussie. We have four children and five grandchildren who are sadly all in Australia, so they feel very far away. We live in Thornhill and love the country views and walks around here. And we've been coming to SBC for about 13 years. As I've been preparing for this, I've been thinking a lot about the kingdom of God and what it actually means and how we are to be aware of it. In relation to that, I've also been thinking about uh, the national anthem, funnily enough. In the national anthem, we pray that God would save our gracious queen and that she would live for a long time, that she would be victorious. And I think just looking at her at nearly 94 years of age, God has answered that prayer. Whether we have thought about what we were saying or not, whether we believe in God or not, we have prayed that prayer and God, I believe, has answered. And in the same way, um, with the Lord's Prayer, we think we say, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And I wonder what we're actually praying for. A kingdom is a place where the king rules, where what the king wants to be done is done. And with God, as we pray, thy kingdom come, we're praying that what God wants to be done will be done. I believe God is at work all around us in so many different ways. We're praying for his kingdom to come, but his kingdom is already here, at least in part. It began with the death and resurrection of Jesus and won't uh, come fully until Jesus comes back again. In Mark chapter 1, verses 14 to 15, it says that Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Or in the message, it says, time's up. God's kingdom is here. Change your life and believe the message. And in Luke chapter 17, uh, in verses 20 and 21, it says the kingdom of God is within you or among you. So what does this mean in practice? Well, I'm thinking of all the wonderful things that are happening around the world at the moment in the midst of the horrendous pandemic. There are so many acts of kindness and care. There's a wonderful, refreshing community spirit that has come back to us after so many years. Is this more of what the kingdom should actually look like? as well as showing mercy and justice for the poor and the oppressed? Is this God answering our prayers? May thy kingdom come. May thy will be done. Does it encourage us to pray this well-known prayer, being more aware of what we are actually saying? Will we pray that these acts continue after the pandemic has subsided? In our personal lives, it may be more of when I'm feeling anxious to look to Jesus rather than to my own resources. It might look like taking the risk to pray for someone for healing. It might be carrying on trusting him even when we're going through some very difficult times. There's a little um, story about a Sudanese man um, who was born in the middle of the Civil War who says... My 30 years have been full of heartbreak, war and grief, but I see God everywhere in my journey. And I love that and I believe that that is the kingdom at work, that in spite of pain and suffering, we can still see Jesus around us everywhere if we will just look. It might be just stopping and being quiet to listen to what God is saying rather than rushing on with our day. It might be making a donation to an organisation that works with the homeless. It might be praying the Lord's Prayer with new meaning and saying, may your kingdom come more and more 
and your will be done more and more here and now, Lord. As I've been talking to neighbours recently, several have said to me, I'm not ready for the lockdown to lift. I want I wanted to get off this hamster wheel for a long time, but I didn't know how to do it. And I think, is that an answer to God's prayer that he's let us come off the hamster wheel so that we can be who he created us to be rather than do? I think it's all the more there's all the more reason not to go back to how things were, at least personally. What things do we need to finish with? What things do we need to begin? What things do we need to change? How does God want me to change through this time? And how does he want me to see the kingdom all around me? Am I going to start being more aware of him? When I was growing up as a child, our uh, minister, who I really loved, he used to finish many of his sermons with, he is nearer than breathing, he's closer than hands and feet. And I've never forgotten that. And I think it's good to be reminded that even as we look around our room here now, wherever you are, God is here. His kingdom is here. We need to open our eyes to see it. So just to finish, um, I'm thinking of a couple of the words from the blessing song, which has been circulating um, recently. And it simply says, the blessing of the Lord be upon you and around you wherever you go. Thank you.